Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to, I'm going to be stepping you through how I change a overlay on a panel view plus 1500 uh, panel view. Now I got this one in from my customer, Ugh. and as you can see, hold it up this way, it's it had a little abuse. Uh, some paint on it, so it hold it straight, and somebody's taken a razor blade and tried to clean the paint off. Bad idea. They cut the overlay. So now this needs to be cleaned. This needs to be replaced. Now, depending upon which overlay is on there, sometimes when you take off the overlay, it destroys the ribbon cable for the touch screen behind it, so you end up having to change both pieces. Now, you never know until you start taking it apart. So this is going to be kind of an experiment in a way, and uh, but we'll step through it together. So I'm going to get ready. I got to. We'll take it apart, and we'll show you how it goes from there. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So let's start by. We'll flip it over. And uh, first step is to take off the memory power module now. These mem as you noticed in the other video I did about these memory modules, they're interchangeable with whatever you want. That's not a big deal. You loosen off the screws, it unplugs, there it is. And this battery here, um, right spot, there we go, it's a CR2032. This is used for holding up uh, keeping the time and date in place. So, first step, handy little dish. Um, your, sm your smaller screwdriver, and yep, you can see here. Um, this cover here is for the ribbon cable. Take that off. I generally put these two screws back in here just so that they don't get lost. Now, probably hard to see, but there is the ribbon cable. And bring right there we go. Now this ribbon cable ties the um, touch screen to the processor board. Now normally what I do is I've got this little tool here it's for an oil seal pick for taking oil seals out of bearings and I find that it works there we go really well for getting this unpulled out of here without damaging things. Now you very carefully and of course this is never going to work the way I want it to See, that one's a tight one. Option two. Okay. So we'll have to do that after. Okay, sometimes they come out real easy and sometimes they don't. So, Let's take out all these screws here. Finally. Okay, so this is actually a Rockwell one, so that's probably going to come completely apart on this. Okay, so there's the LCD processor board and back. Move that off to the side so it's safe. So, that was really a pain. Okay, this one has a little push clip here which is really hard to see. So bring it up closer. Uh, not right. Okay. 
So what we're going to do now is remove the overlay. Now, this is, again, just a matter of patience. Okay, so we're lucky, we didn't damage that. Doesn't appear to be damaged there. Dirt on it. And then... marks on it okay so you can see all the way around here this dark area that is the uh, glue off of the unit dirt on the inside this goes in your recycle bin or garbage bin whichever depending where you are. Now, one of the products I like to use to clean this is a standard old product called Goo Gone. It, uh, it's for eating up glued surfaces. And you just put it on and you wait a few minutes. Exactly sure what it's made of, but it's got orange in it. Let that sit for a bit. And you need a scraper. Now, single edge razor blade sometimes works. Okay, so this has got to sit for a half hour or so to work itself in there. And uh, then we'll come back and uh, step into the next part. We also need to clean all the way around it and up here. And there's various ways of doing that. So, we'll be back in, a few, in uh, probably half Okay, um, here we're back after a little bit. Um, as you can see, I've taken the glass out. It, um, here is the touch screen glass. It needs some cleaning anyhow. So, But this is the top side. And you see these traces around here? You do not want to scratch those. This is where when you're touching it, you can't see. If you look really close at the glass, you can see these little dots in there. That's where all your interface comes from. So... We'll uh, continue on this. It's going to take a while, a half dozen times, I think, to uh, scrape it, soak it, scrape it, soak it, and uh, hopefully it'll be clean. And then once it's cleaned, 
we wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol to make sure that the glues will adhere properly. So, back after a while. Okay, we're back for a few minutes. So, what I've got done at this point, I'll just unplug this, is I've got this clean. Now, this is the same one that you, you saw earlier with all the green paint on the top. Well, I got it off. Lots of elbow grease. Obviously an old toothbrush. And, let's set this here. Um, good product to use is this, which is Vim. It's basically a um, micro particles, and I think it's uh, quite good. And then, uh, of course, good old Windex. And cloth and elbow grease. Lots of elbow grease. So, before we reassemble it, we want to test that nothing has been damaged, everything is good. So we plug it in and let it boot up. And let me bring this over here so you can see it. And change the lighting. Now oh, that's easier. Okay, so it's booting up. Okay, so we're now we're booted up. So we can, you know, double check that uh, all of our... If you can go through some of the, the different screens with the, uh, the glass, well, there's no application, um, then you know that this, the glass is good, the, your touchscreen interface. Now this, before I put it back, together is all got to be clean because my fingers are dirty so what we'll do now is and now that we know the trick on this one we push the little clip down with the screwdriver and it wiggles out without any fuss or muss so anyhow next step is to uh, remount this into the uh, bezel and here's our new uh, overlay put this all together so back after I get straightened out here okay we're back now what I've done is like I say I used the glue and went around here just in little dabs to hold that uh, piece of glass in the touch screen and then I took the same thing that you use for cleaning your glasses you know, proper cleaning solution. Um, you can also use the same solution that you use on camera lenses, along with uh, some lint-free cloths. And took my time to completely clean this surface, because this is going to be between the overlay and the screen. And once that overlay is, tied, is glued down to there with the self-adhesive, you can't get at that to clean it. Now, I also cleaned the back end of it, but you can also clean that again before you put final installation. So, the other thing that I'm going to do here, now here's where the ribbon cable is right here. And I'm going to put a little piece of uh, protectant over that, so that the next time this uh, overlay has to be changed, if it does, um, hopefully the glass, the ribbon cable won't get damaged. So I'll get that and then uh, come back in a couple of minutes and uh, show you how I put the uh, overlay itself on. Back shortly. Okay, back for a few minutes here. Um, now this may look a little strange, but what I've done is I put this, the touch screen back into the frame and I've used some Gorilla Glue, just gel, just little dabs around the outside edge. After I'd wiped everything down with isopropyl alcohol. Now, Gorilla Glue takes a while to set. So, 
this way everything is giving it pressure none of these boxes weigh too much and so I'm going to let it sit for probably five or six hours and then I'll be back thanks a lot okay so we're ready get that out of the way now this overlay putting it on is a one-shot deal um, as soon as you stick it on there that's it you're done so just last check everything's clean there everything's clean there there's my little piece of tape to protect that and it's back from the edge and confirm that yes this is going to fit and here we go peel this off That's very sticky because it's 3M. Okay, let's start. Okay, I don't think that's right. Take the other way. There is a top and bottom. What the hell is going on here? Oh yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've got this stuck down, and it takes a bit. You can see that on this edge it shows a little bit, but unfortunately that's just the way it's going to end up. So this edge here I'm going to have to trim so that it fits inside here, and otherwise and this has got a, again, a protective coating on top of it. But now we're ready for final test. And again, this thing just clips in. Solidly. Apply the power. And just because it's easier Put in two, two screws now to hold the back in place. That way nothing will fall. Slide that right there, it's good. And let's move you over here. And away it goes. And of course, nothing ever. There we go. Going through its startup tests. good so far and there we go terminal settings close everything's working fine so besides uh you say trimming this top edge so that it fits inside the the bezel there we're done so, like I say, it's a few hours to replace one of these. It's not a 10-minute a job that uh, 
you can just whip it off and whip it back on. You have to take your time, you have to make sure everything's clean, you have to make sure everything's aligned, and that can really be difficult some days. Thanks a lot. Come back anytime you want. Uh, subscribe if you'd like. Have a great day. Thank you.